The axle can be equipped with either an auxiliary air heater or an auxiliary water heater. In the axle engine compartment, you'll find the water heater Hydronic from the firm Eberspecher. We'll show you now how the water heating functions, using the Hydronic 5 Compact with integrated metering pump as an example. At first, the safety check. Control device, flame sensor, temperature sensor, overheating sensor, glow element, water pump, fuel metering pump, blower motor. The water pump starts. The glow element heats. The blower starts. The metering pump starts and the fuel-air mixture comes into the combustion chamber. The glow element lights the fuel-air mixture. The flame sensor registers the temperature rise of the waste gas. If a program value within a certain time is reached, the glow element is switched off. The flame burns further independently. Now the heater runs with a high heating output. The water is heated and the temperature is monitored by the temperature sensor. When it has reached 30 degrees, the vehicle blower is switched on and the vehicle interior is warmed. At 80 degrees, the heating appliance switches to low level. If the water temperature nevertheless rises further and reaches 85 degrees Celsius, then the device is switched off. In this case, the fuel supply is interrupted and the flame goes out. The heating appliance is in the run-on mode and the water pump keeps going. If the water temperature sinks to less than 75 degrees, the heating appliance starts once more with a high heating output. Back to the installed heating appliance. Here you see the electric magnet valve with the water connections. With this valve, hot water can be pumped either into the heating circuit or the engine circuit to warm or cool the engine. These graphics show the function of both circuits. In the auxiliary heating operation, the control valve is operated and leads the hot water into the small circuit to the heat exchanger of the interior heating. In the auxiliary heating operation, the ventilator fan of the heat exchanger for the interior heating runs always on level 1, regardless of which level you've set. This is an energy saving measure. When the set temperature has been reached, the control valve switches off and leads the hot water into the big circuit, first through the engine and then in the heat exchanger of the interior heating. With the ignition switched on or while driving, the water always runs through the big circuit. The water heater is run using fuel. You'll see the fuel lines in this removed model. The fuel comes from the tank, of course. The fuel line is connected to the fuel metering pump. When you install a water heater, please be sure to use the correct fuel metering pump. There is also an air heater from the firm Eberspecher with a smaller pump. Use the one with the green sticker. The temperature sensor is to be found in the driver's cab behind the driver's seat. This water heater also fits the Mercedes-Benz Econic. 